So the BBC are really excited to be in town and we're even more excited because we are hosting two programmes and one of our guests will be the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Mia Motley. And so the programme I present is called Global Questions mm -hmm. and it's a very special programme in the BBC firmament because we go all over the world, Africa, Asia, Middle East, Europe, and what we do is we bring together leaders and opinion formers in a panel and then we invite a local audience, some may also come from the region, and they put whatever questions they want to the panellists. But Mia Motley being the Prime Minister of Barbados, we thought we would dispense with the panel <laughs> on this occasion and have just Mia Motley on her own. So she's obviously a woman who has got a number of firsts to her name, um, first female Prime Minister here in Barbados, so um, it really is going to be a, a wonderful opportunity for us and the BBC's global audience to just um, see her in action. Indeed. Why Barbados? Um, any particular reason why the BBC chose Barbados to host this particular event? Well, you know, since um, the pandemic began, yeah. there have been terrible travel restrictions. Yeah. So it was a very positive choice to come to Barbados. Um, but in terms of which Caribbean country to come to, Barbados obviously presented us with the fewest obstacles because it's a green list country on account of the fact that you have been managing the COVID pandemic very well with all the health protocols um, observed and so on. So that is something which was very important for us because obviously um, coming to a country wherever it is, we've got to make sure that, that we don't jeopardize our health and also the others. But there's a more positive reason as to why we came to Barbados. It is the first British slave society. Mm -hmm. And then that means its history is a particularly important one. So there are lessons to be learned from Barbados, which apply to the rest of the Caribbean on account of its history. Um, and so we are coming to um, examine not only what's going on in Barbados, but also to see what the implications are for the Caribbean. So our second Global Questions programme focuses on climate and the Caribbean, mm -hmm. the region as a whole, not just Barbados, because Barbados actually, as you know, is not as badly affected by the natural disasters such as hurricanes. It's much more prone to storms. And we thought that just ahead of the big climate change meeting in Glasgow in Scotland in November, that it would be good to put the focus on the Caribbean and climate change because it is the part of the world that is most vulnerable to natural disasters. Okay, so hearing all this now and our audience now, their attention is peaked. Um, how can they get involved in this particular program and will they be able, will they have to submit questions or if you're going to moderate the questions, do they have to worry about um, not being asking those pointed questions to the Prime Minister, how will it work um, with the audience being able to ask? That's questions? a good question. I mean, so I think if somebody is interested in sending a question, please do submit it to our email, which is um, globalquestions at bbc.co.uk. And you can also express an interest in becoming a member of the audience. Some questions we can actually take from the person if they are there, but others we may be able to incorporate them, um, you know, with me saying we've also received a question from. But I would say that's the first step. The production team will then do their best to go through all the, um, the, the submissions. Mm -hmm. And in terms of you as a host, uh, seeing the leadership of the Prime Minister, what, what are you keen on asking the Prime Minister tomorrow in terms of oh, oh. The questions? What would I be interested yeah. in? Well, as I said, I'm just really as a mediator, as it were, between the people of Barbados asking questions of their Prime Minister. But if I were to ask her questions, um, I suppose I would want to know uh, just about the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on Barbados. We know that it's decimated the tourism industry and that it's gone down by about 90%. And for a country that relies for 40% of its GDP and 40% of its jobs, on the travel and tourism sector, that's a heavy blow. Mm -hmm. And so I'd like to know what kind of recovery plan she has in place. I'd also want to know um, about, you know, the desire to diversify the economy away from tourism. This is something that's been discussed not only in Barbados, but right across the Caribbean, which, because so many countries here depend on tourism. And we've seen what a shock um, the COVID pandemic can, can deal 
Um, so it, it does reinforce the need to diversify the economy. I've also been very interested by the fact that, you know, when I go to a supermarket here, the food prices are, are high, and I'm thinking, goodness, how can people afford to buy food here? And of course, you do have a very high food import bill in Barbados, so I would want to ask the Prime Minister, why not grow more, of, produce more of what you consume? Um, climate change, I think, is also a huge, huge, I mean, it's an existential threat to some Caribbean countries, so I would also want to ask Mia Motley about, you know, what steps they want to be taken at the national level, the regional level, but also what they want from the global community. So all sorts of things I'd want to ask the Prime Minister. And finally, you're here in Barbados, is this your first time here in Barbados, and how did you find um, the coming in through, um, you, you talked about our COVID protocols and so on, how did you find that experience? Oh, I, I, first of all, it's my first time in Barbados, but not my last. Love it. Mm -hmm. The people are just so super and friendly and it's such a beautiful country. And I think that um, you're very strict, rightly so, on your COVID health protocols. You know, we can't go anywhere without having our temperature taken and wearing masks, you know, outside and inside. and. Um, having to write your name wherever you go so you can be contacted if anybody has had COVID-19 you know, in your group or whatever. So I'm very impressed. And also at the airport when you arrive, the system for COVID testing is very, very efficient. Of course, it adds more time to any traveller you know, to the country, but you've got to do it. So I would say that having visited Barbados, I'm very reassured by the... Um, health and safety levels that you've um, introduced and are implementing.